the Association for the Mentally Disabled Gambia, in collaboration with the Minister of Health, through the Office of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention, the Africa Project Against Suicide, and International Voluntary Mental Health Organization, have come together to observe World Mental Health Day, which falls on October 10 each year. The primary objective of this day is to raise global awareness about mental health issues and galvanize efforts in support of mental well-being. This year's commemoration revolves around the theme, Mental Health is a Universal Human Right. The event includes a procession from Maria Makunda Johnson to Tanka Tanka Psychiatric Hospital in Salaji, representing the Minister of Health, Mr. Yanku Baswari, an official from the Minister of Health's Mental Health Program Unit strongly condemned discrimination against individuals living with mental illness. Mr. Suarez emphasized the importance of granting equal rights and opportunities to those living with mental health conditions in society. Mental health conditions are also affecting an increasing number of adolescent and young people, especially in the Gambia. Having a mental health condition should never be a reason to deprive a person of their human rights or to exclude them from decisions about their own health. Yet all over the world, people with mental health conditions continue to experience a wide range of human rights violations. Many are excluded from community life and discriminated against, while many more cannot access the mental health care they need, or can only access the care that violates their rights. It's like being in chain somehow. Mam Jara Marega, a senior psychiatric mental health nurse, emphasizes that mental health is not dependent on one's age or economic background. She advocates for an improved health care system to better support individuals living with mental illness. Mental health is a basic human right, regardless of age, gender, socioeconomic status, as well as economic background. And for this reason, I think this year's theme is for us to realize and take this moment to make the world a better place, especially for those living with mental health conditions. Now everybody, whether you live in the community, whether you're a patient of Tanka Tanka Psychiatric Inpatient Facility, or you're just a professional. We all deserve to have the highest quality of healthcare. And as healthcare providers, especially mental health professionals, we believe that health, especially mental health, is the most essential and the most basic asset that we possess as human beings. Mr. Usman Chan, a representative of the University of the Gambia students, highlights some of the steps they are taking to raise awareness about mental health. There is a need for increased awareness and access to mental health services. Our collaboration aims to bridge that gap. The Student Association of Public and Environmental Health is an association that always engages its students on community sensitization, school health education. We want to use that medium to convey the message to the general populace, to educate them on some of the things that are affecting us in our society, some of the things that are contributing to this numerous mental health crisis that we have been faced with. Meanwhile, Mr. Bakari Kamara, the department metron at the Tanka Tanka Psychiatric Hospital, explains the challenges they are facing, including human resources. We have 150 bed capacity of patients or bed capacity. At the moment, we have 86 of patients we are seeing currently. And then it is always a challenge in regards of taking care of them because we have limited human resources and the material resources. Yes, of course. When I said material resources, mean some of the medications we are, you know, hardly work with or we work with frequently. If those ones are unavailable for us, it's absolutely difficult for us to do our work as the way it is expected. Mental Health Day was first celebrated in 1992 at the initiative of the World Federation for Mental Health, a global mental health organization with members and contacts in more than 150 countries. Research has shown that, globally, 970 million people struggle with some mental illness or drug abuse. One in four people will be affected by a mental illness at some point in their lives. 14.3% of deaths worldwide, or approximately 8 million deaths each year, are attributable to mental disorders. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Landin Sise.